There is something about riding a bike that awakens your inner child. Stress and everyday worries can melt away with each press of the pedal. Pair the fun of riding with the beauty and history of Greater Portsmouth, and you may just have the recipe for a perfect summer day. We want people to just take in the scenery. We want people to um, see the gardens at Prescott Park and the beautiful fountains. So we try and, and uh, tailor the tours, so to speak, to our audience. Don Perhosian is the CBO of Port City Bike Tours. That's Chief Bicycle Officer. Located at the historic John Paul Jones House in downtown Portsmouth, Port City Bikes offers four different tours. Most popular one is the Islands and Harbor Tour. It's two hours. So if people are traveling for the day, traveling overnight for the weekend, it's a few hours of their day. So they get to see the scenery, learn a little bit about the history, and exercise and burn a few calories. We do a, a three and a half, four hour coastal tour. So that's about 15 plus miles um, down the coastline. We take a nice country road on the way back. And then we have a city tour. There is also a neighborhood tour that winds through the historic South End and other hoods, showcasing the port city's history and highlights of each area. Every rider wears a bright fluorescent vest with the port city bike's name and a safety helmet. All right, we're ready. We are joined on this ride by the Orland family on vacation. They've never been to Portsmouth before. We like the bike tours a lot just because it, um, to start off, you get to see the city a little bit, get a feel for it before you do some other stuff. We depart the John Paul Jones house and head towards Prescott Park. Tour guide Beth Jefferson stopping the group to point out significant areas of interest, like the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard and the fast moving Piscataqua River. This river has the second highest tides of any river in the United States. Our tides run anywhere from seven feet to uh, upwards of 13 feet. So every six hours and change, that's how much the, the height of this river is changing. From Prescott Park, we make our way through the South End towards Newcastle. Beth, making sure we saw everything. There's the gondola, big white sail. She explains why this is the perfect job for her. I like to tell my friends it's because I like to be in front and have people follow me around and listen to me and do what I tell them to do. <laughs> but mostly I love, I love biking. Um, I like pu public speaking, interacting with so many different people. Our tour weaves its way through Newcastle. First stop, Great Island Common, the town-owned waterfront park, always popular in the summer. It's always cooler here in the summer. Uh, so it's kind of a favorite spot when the heat, you know, when the heat hits inland. Visitors learn about the seacoast's rich seafaring past and maritime history. Beth pointing out a number of old forts that dot the landscape. Newcastle was called the Great Island uh, when it was first named by the English. Got changed to Newcastle because the first fort that was built in the 1600s, which you can see remnants of over here, um, was so big they called it the castle. There's only one battle that happened and that was at Fort William and Mary. The rest of these forts were ready but did not go into any active battles. With such a picture-perfect day, the Orland family wanted to document their travels. There you go, perfect. Pictures done, our bike ride continues, leaving the common. Settling our way to the historic Wentworth by the Sea Hotel, we learn about the key role the Grand Hotel played in ending the war between Russia and Japan, and how the well-heeled folks traveled from all over to spend summers here. They opened up the Wentworth Hotel, and it looked like this. It was basically, think about this core structure here, it was the first three floors only. More family photos for the Orleans, and we are on our way back to Portsmouth. Arriving back at the John Paul Jones house, the Orland family reflecting on their first visit to Portsmouth and their bike tour. Super fun. 
My whole family seemed to really enjoy it, easy, and we felt like we were in a puzzle or something. The, the houses were so cool. I really enjoyed um, seeing the naval base. That was really cool. I didn't know this was such a, um, a shipbuilding town, um, but that was really cool. And the hotel, too, all the history with that. Had a, a blast as a family. It was a lot of fun to see the area and hear about the historic uh, elements of this place. So it was just a lot of fun. Back roads and bikes. Port City Bike Tours lets you experience greater Portsmouth and the seacoast from the seat of a bike. All you have to do is pedal and enjoy.